I don't know what you're gonna say. If you get that. nervous, then I'll like bust your balls. <laughs> Okay, I said I wasn't gonna do an intro to all the videos, I was just gonna go straight into them. When I started editing this one, I noticed that the uh, lighting was a little off. I tried to fix it while we were there, I noticed it was off, but I thought I could get it better. Yeah, the lighting's not great, so it might look a little weird, but the content's there. This is Rad Flags, it's a really cool concept, it's like one of those post-it note concepts, why didn't I come up with that? Very simple, helps you out on your motorcycle. Uh, how many times have you been going down the road and you see some guy on a bike, you pull over to see if he needs help, and he's like, oh no, I was just texting a friend. At least he's pulling over to text. Please don't ever text and drive, and especially don't ever text and ride your motorcycle. But these flags, you attach to the handlebars, it lets people know, hey, I need some help, and I'm rambling, and you'll see it in an interview right here. All right, guys, welcome back. I am Zeke, of course, and I'm here with Kim Prentice from Rad Flags. Yes. And that's, if you say it real fast, that's hard to say. Red Flags. Right. Red Flags. We'll get used to it. Yeah. Then it ends up sounding like Red Flags, which from the industry I came from, that's not a good thing. But these are. These are a good things. Yeah. So tell us about how you came up with this idea, what they are. You see them down here on the handlebars. Right. How I came up with this, first of all, is it's called a Rad Flag, Rescue and Distress. If you have an issue on the side of the road on your motorcycle and you need some help, how are we going to know if you need something? Yeah. How are we going to know if you're just not pulled over talking on the phone? So uh, you put this on your uh, handlebars, lets everybody know you need uh, some assistance. Cool. I come up with it uh, from riding over the years. There we go. Riding over the years and uh, pulling over for people. Uh, I want to help them. I don't like to leave anybody uh, on the side of the road. So I pull over. Sometimes they need help. Sometimes they don't. So uh, I thought, well... Let's try to come up with something to uh, put out there and help everybody, maybe. That's one of the coolest things when I saw it that, you know, it's simple, but it's something that I've pulled over several times. I'm like, hey, man, you need help? And they're like, nah, what are you doing? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Most people are grateful. Yes. But, but sometimes you, you do it, you pull over, you want to help them out, and they don't need help because, like you said, they're on their phone or something like that. Is there a difference signal-wise between the greenish yellow and orange uh, absolutely not that's okay. just just preference gotcha. uh, some people seem to dig the orange one for some yeah. reason but that's all that is and they're very reflective at night as well this is some things that a lot of people don't understand the human eye will actually pick up green more than they will red or orange a lot of people don't know that um, it orange seems brighter and red seems brighter but if you do different tests, like with red dot sites, I don't know if you've ever used them, green is usually easier to pick up, even in low light, high light, everything, where sometimes a red dot will blur out in a highlight. So I don't know if that would work with yeah, these, yeah, but awesome. you, you just claim it, just say it. Just say, yeah, that, that's why it is. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah the, the green one, so you can see it better. Thank you. So if people want to buy them, where'd they go? They go to uh, radflags.com, okay. click on the site, yep. there's a little, shopping site there and they're easy to use they just kind of so they just velcro right on your handle even for like giant sasquatch grips too Velcro's long enough to go small or large yeah all right so radflags.com radflags they can find them get them there and how much are they they are 12.99 okay so affordable, something simple you can throw in your saddlebags, you can have it in your backpack if you don't have saddlebags. You can even throw them in your pocket, it looks like. Very small. Yeah, really, you can just throw them on there and then you rock them out if you're in trouble. Or if you just really feel lonely and you want somebody to stop and talk to you. <laughs> you can do that, I guess, if that's what you're into. You need to have a pink one for the lonely flag. I've already heard. <laughs> Yeah, they're awesome. It, it, when I saw it, it was one of those things where you, you see something and you're like, that's a brilliant idea. Why didn't I come up with it? <laughs> but I think it'll be successful just because of that reason. How many times have you stopped to see if a biker's in trouble and they weren't? They I tell weren't. everybody, uh, you need one, but I hope you never have to use it. That sounds familiar. Exactly. Very similar. We're going to need to get some partnership stuff going on. Think so. Awesome, man. Appreciate it, Kent. That's simple. I told you it's easy. I told you that would be awesome too when the music came on. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely, man.